Hello everyone, this is BCS Buster, and welcome back to Let's Play Wing Commander Privateer. I know it's been a while since I've uh, been with you guys. Uh, been real, real busy, as uh, mentioned in the last couple episodes, but I'm back now, and I'm ready to bring this action to you. Again, it's, it'll, my episodes are few and far between for this LP, but uh, welcome to the world of BCS Buster. So, But I'm back, and here we go. Um... Since last time, as I mentioned, I was going to spend a lot of time uh, getting the credits that I needed to finally being able to move on to the next part of the game. Now, we won't be able to get to any plot missions today, but that's okay. Now, let me show you what I've done here. Let's go ahead to the repair mode here. And I've managed to get, uh, you know, 39... I've actually ended up with about 100,000 credits. And the way that I did that, and let me see if I can show this to you real quick, actually, is... Um, by doing a series of different kinds of missions, and we'll see if we can do it. Uh, let's see. Uh, patrol, uh, yeah. Patrol mission is one of them. Now, I wouldn't recommend this one because you're probably going to get into a lot of enemy attacks, but um, cargo, now, nah, uh, let's see if I can find one. No, um, basically, you want to find for missions that are patrol missions or scout missions, and what those do is basically you just patrol a zone like for the patrol missions you just go through the five different zones of the Troy system and you get like 7,000 credits for it sometimes you face some offs against some enemies uh, sometimes you won't now to help you with that uh, I've, per I've gone through and I've purchased uh, let's see if I can show you here a new scanner uh, to help me uh, it was actually the AW6I and that's the uh, one that I purchased for my uh, ship there I did that off screen now what I want to do here is I want to purchase all of the quadrants uh, of the map because when you jump to different quadrants, uh, basically the map in Wing Commander Pri Privateer the World is laid out into four different quadrants. And uh, I'll post a link um, in the video description of this so you can see where to get a really, really good map to explain how to jump to everywhere and all that stuff. And we'll get to that here in a minute. But for right now, I want to buy the all quadrants map. So let's go ahead and buy that. Okay, now let's see if I can sell... See, that's the 108 of you. That's one I have. And uh, let's see. Yeah, see, because you can see I bought them. I bought the entire uh, system there. So we wanted to do that. Yeah, all the different quadrants. So we want that. We definitely want to hang on to that. Uh, okay, so I wanted to do here. Now, for purchasing stuff from here, um, all the guns are the same. I am. I need to get some torpedoes. Let me do that real quick. Okay, very good. Uh, I also also purchased a not a new shield generator. I also purchased a afterburner because we're because I want to go a little bit faster. Uh, upgraded my armor to the tungsten armor. I think I might have done that last time. And I purchased a jump drive a jump drive as well because we need to go between different systems. And we'll go over that here in a little bit. Uh, for right now, the last thing I want to purchase is an ECM package, and I want to get the best one available. Uh, especially when we leave this. Now, what the ECM package does is any missile that's fired at you, um, based on what package you get, you have a 25% chance of the missile missing you per ECM package that you got. So for level 3, that's 3 times 25, so that's 75%. So now there's a 75% chance that missiles that come after me will actually miss, and that's exactly what we want. So that's pretty, uh, pretty important there. Okay, so what we want to do now is we want to try and find some missions and get ourselves uh, to get, start making some real money. Now, what we want here is the Merchant's Guild. Yeah, because now we can actually, now we've got our jump drive and we've got a little bit better equipment. We can actually start uh, making some missions into some different systems. And what you want to try and do is start making your way to the Potter Quadrant. And again, you'll see this all on the map that I've listed in the video description. Um, and you want to try and start making your area start making your way, I would suggest trying to get to New Constantinople because that's the least amount of jumps uh, to get there. Let me make sure that that information is correct. One, two, three, one, two. Yeah, so we want to go to New Constantinople. So let's go ahead and take this mission. Yep, and we should be good there. And Well, let me check and make sure that none of the other missions. Now, you always want to check and make sure that uh, there's, you're getting more than, okay, uh, see if there's more than one to the same system. Nope. New Detroit, uh, ooh, Kelrathi. Now, we don't want to avoid the Kelrathi for now. There, there, fourth one. Nope. 
nothing I want there. And I went through and checked through the computer earlier, and there's nothing there. So uh, I think we're in good shape. So let's just go with the bartender and see what he has to say. Any news I can use? Check with me later after I've talked to some other folks. Nope. Looks like there's nothing there. So, uh, all right. Well, let's go ahead and see if we can head over to New Constantinople. And we remember this launch sequence. And away we go. Okay. You'll also notice that we've got a new scanner there, as I mentioned earlier. And it can now actually display the difference between friends and foes, which is why you want that AWI scanner. That's a really important thing to get. Also, you'll notice that uh, I have a little F uh, for fuel above the auto portion of my scanner. That's my jump fuel, and we'll go over that here in just a little bit. Uh, but for right now, we want to head to, uh, let's see, Pender Star is our first jump point to get to New Constantinople, so let's go over there. Um, in the video description, I'll also post what I've done to my ship, and I won't post the route to New Constantinople. Uh, okay, that's a friendly ship. I saw Unknown, I went, crap. But see, it's blue uh, on my radar, which means that uh, will be cool. So now, just like in the last game, you can tab to use your afterburner. Now, the weird thing about this game is that all of your fuel, um, all of your little, I guess, I don't know if it's really called fuel. It's more like just uh, charged energy. I guess all of your energy um, goes into one place, and that's, and that's powered by your engines. So that's why I don't re recommend getting the second shield generator for right now. Uh, because you wanted to get an engine upgrade first. But uh, the engine upgrade doesn't do a whole lot for this Tarsus, because it can only get one upgrade. So I would just recommend going with one shield for right now. We're not going to stray too far. Uh, oh, let's see. I'm going to go here. Now. now, you have to get under 1,000 clicks to activate the jump. So you get underneath 1,000 clicks, and then you get ready to push the J button. And as soon as you do that... That's actually a pretty kick-ass animation. I like that. Okay. Uh-oh. Those red ships I thought I saw. Now, we want to actually go to uh, Junction. Yeah, that's going to be our next stop. You're about to suck boy, buddy. Uh-oh. see what we got to deal with here. Uh-oh, looks like we got some enemies. Let's see if we can take them out. All right. Unknown. I think these are Talons, just judging by... Yeah, okay, ship. So, just like before, now, i got to face off against two of them. So this is another thing you need to be careful of. Is when you start to enter new zones, uh, it's not going to attack by more than one enemy. But you also notice there's some blue... What the heck's shooting? Ugh. Dang it. Gee, I my ass kicked. Alright. So you got to be careful when you venture out of the system. You want to try and end these things pretty quickly. So yeah, I like firing off a couple torpedoes there. This crate's about to explode. Excellent. Whenever you get that message, from that point forward, probably use your guns because you want to save your torpedoes for uh, more fresh targets. So let's see. come on, get over here. Now, I, can, I don't want to afterburn after them because uh, they waste some of my fuel, you see. I got to use that to shoot my guns for right now. So okay, come on. Here, well, I guess not really an alien, but okay, that thing's. Also, sometimes you'll run into. Ah, another dissatisfied customer. Yeah, nice job. Uh, sometimes you also run into some other friendly pirates who will help you out. So it's a very hodgepodge worth of uh, stuff you could possibly run into while you're out here roaming these. Uh... Boom! Yeah, roaming these. Uh systems there so okay good now we want to head over to uh the jump over to junction which is what we'll do next and oh is this not wait is that an asteroid field oh man more enemies Ugh. okay and there's enemies in an asteroid field so that makes this even more fun because you got not only you have to kill the enemies but you gotta dodge the asteroids so I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of uh, of getting to New Constantinople. Jeez. There we go. Man. Dump your cargo before you blow, will ya? Hell no. I'll do that. Yeah. So yeah, notice that that lock is on me right now. 
Okay, well, that one seemed to hit, but sometimes they'll miss. Okay, also, you can see the other guy shooting at him. So, uh, is that part of my ship? Dang, I'm going to have to repair when I get to New Constantinople. But, um, yeah, so this can be kind of dangerous, too. So you just got to be really careful. It may take you one or two tries to get to New Constantinople. Um, but that's okay. We'll eventually get there. And if you really don't feel that you want to venture out, and you would just rather uh, get some credit, more credits and um, keep repairing, upgrading your ship, that's fine as well. Uh, my suggestion would be to get the engine burners. Damn, so you're ripping me apart! Damn right. Uh, my suggestion would be to get the new engine, so then you can upgrade the shield generator, um, which obviously increases your shields. Uh, and you sh oh, by the way, the engine also powers, um, basically powers everything on the ship. So like your, uh, your shields, your... Um, what else? Come on. Go down, ship. Uh, how's your weapon, your afterburner recovery, um, you know, your shields, all that stuff. There you go. That was a pain in the ass. Okay, now unfortunately we can't uh, auto out of here because there's asteroids near, so... Just like in previous Wing Commander games, I'll take a second and get out of this asteroid field, and then be back once I am done with that.